The uh, main topic of chapter six is percent notation. And there are seven subsections that we will cover in detail. And so it's about percent notation and then percent notation and fraction notation, solving percent problems using percent equations and then solving percent problems using uh, proportions and then applications of percent. Then we'll talk about sales tax, commission and discounts, and then simple interest and compound interest, and we also talk about credit cards. So you'll see some real life applications here, and I'm sure you're gonna get a lot out of this particular chapter here. So section 6.1 is um, about the percent notation. There are three kinds of notation for uh, percents, and then we convert this between percent notation and decimal notation. So let's look into uh, what, what it means, percent notation, what that really means. And so we can begin with an example. And the example is this. In 2017, 54% of the world's population lived in urban areas. What does 54% actually mean? Well, it means that of every 100 people on Earth in 2017, 54 lived in urban areas. In other words, 54% is a ratio of 54 to 100 or 54 divided by 100. And we are going to look at an example here in a moment, how, what that looks like graphically. So in the United States, in 2017, approximately 83% of the population was urban. So we're going to look at uh, two uh, figures here that describe that graphically. Figure one shows 54 out of 100 squares are shaded. Now it's irrelevant here which ones are shaded, but when you count them all, when you count all the shaded squares, there are 54 of them. And it's a 10 by 10 uh, arrangement, so it's the 100 squares all together. So the, in other words, graphically the shaded areas to the total area is 54 percent, or 54 out of 100, or 0 0.54 of the large square is shaded. That's figure one, that's for 54% of the world's population lived in urban areas. Now, when you focus on the United States, it says that 83% of the population was urban. So here, we have shaded 83 out of 100 squares. In other words, 83% or 83 out of 100, or 0 0.83 of the large square is shaded. So that's one way to visualize what percent means. Uh, so many out of 100, 83 out of 100, in this case, here, 54 out of 100. It's a very good e illustration uh, about percents, in case you ever get confused, it's a go-to exercise here. Percent notation is often represented using a circle graph, or so-called pie chart, you've seen those in the past, to show how the parts of a quantity are related. So we look at a circle graph of, uh, that illustrates the percent of consumer transaction by payment type. But here's, first of all, the definition. And that is a percent notation means n percent means n per hundred. So per hundred, that's what this symbol means. And so here's an example of uh, a pie chart the consumer transactions are represented and they're different ones and so uh, how people pay for things here 32 percent uh, pay cash 27 percent use a debit card 21 percent use a credit card uh, then 11 percent use electronic transfers like maybe paypal or something else similar to that zelle z-e-l-l -L, uh, many Financial institutions use that. 6% write checks, of course, that used to be a lot more than that. And other covers all other means of uh, uh, consumer transactions like wire transfers and things of that nature. So, and again, um, the notation n percent can be expressed using the ratio. n percent, the ratio of n to 100 or n divided by 100. When fraction notation, n percent is n times 
one hundred, or a decimal notation, n percent is n times zero point zero one. So these are the three representations for n percent. So we'll be doing some exercises here. Um, for example, uh, examples or exercises one and two. So it says here write three kinds of notation for each percent as an example one. For the number one, seventy percent would be the same as seventy divided by one hundred. The other way to write that is seventy times one divided by one hundred. And the third way would be seventy times zero point zero one. So all that's equivalent to 70%. Then for number two, 23.4%, the equivalent would be 23.4 divided by 100, or 23.4 times 1 divided by 100 and the third way is 23.4 times 0 0.01 all three ways of writing it is equivalent to 23.4% And number three, one hundred percent. The equivalent would be one hundred divided by one hundred. The other way would be one hundred times one divided by one hundred, and the third way would be zero uh, one hundred times zero point zero one. So th any one of these three is equivalent to one hundred percent. And for number four, it would be 0 0.6 divided by 100, or 0 0.6 times 1 divided by 100, or 0 0.6 times 0 0.01. Again, each one of these representations or expressions is equivalent to 0.6 percent. Here we have to find the decimal notation for the uh, expressions 34 percent and 78.9 percent and to do that we replace the percent symbol with 0 0.01. So then 34% becomes 34 times 0 0.01. And we know that that means we need to move the decimal, which is here, two places to the left. In other words, that will be 0.34. Multiplying 34 by 0.01, moving the decimal two places to the left, gives us 0.34. So that's the answer for number 5. 0.34. And number six is very similar. We replace a decimal with 0.01. Then 78.9% will be 78.9 times 0.01. And it means we move the decimal two places to the left. 
and this will then be the number 0 0.789. We move the decimal from behind between the 8 and the 9 in front of the 7. For the following exercises, we have to find the decimal notation for the percent notations in each sentence. So number seven, it is projected that by 2030, the United States will use 14.9% of the world's energy. India is projected to use only 6.7% of the world's energy. So what we're supposed to do here is rewrite this in decimal notation. So 14.9%. We replace the percentage symbol by 0 0.01, so this will then be 14.9 times 0 0.01. That means we move the decimal from between the 4 and the 9 in front of the 1, so that will be then 0 0.149. That is the same as 14.9%. The second percentage here is 6.7%, so we do the same thing, 6.7%. We replace the percent symbol with 0 0.01, this will then be 6.7 times 0 0.01. So we move the decimal two places to the left, and this will then be 0 0.067. The decimal was between the 6 and the 7, so we move it 1, 2 places, so the answer is 0 0.067. And number 8, blood alcohol level. You probably know that a blood alcohol level of 0.08% is the standard used by the, most, by the most states as a legal limit for drunk driving. So again, we have 0.08% and we are going to replace the percentage symbol by the expression 0.01. So we have 0.08 times 0.01. So we move the decimal two places to the left, so that then becomes 0 0.0008, moving it from you know, zero in front of the eight, two places to the left, so that would be the equivalent, 0 0.0008. In number 9 and 10, we have to find the percent notation for the given uh, decimal expressions. So 0 0.24, to make it a percent notation, we simply move the decimal two places to the right and then attach the percent symbol. That would be 24%. We move the decimal two places to the right. And typically, of course, we don't really write the decimal if it's, an int if it's a whole number, so we just write it as 24%. Uh, number 10, uh, 3.47, moving the decimal place two places to the right and attach the percent symbol makes it 347%. Twenty-four percent for number nine, and three hundred forty-seven percent for number ten. So for number eleven, one, we move the decimal two places to the right. We can write one as one point zero zero, moving the decimal place. Uh, decimal two places to the right and attach this 
percentage symbol makes it 100 percent. It's for number 11. And for number 12, 0 0.05, moving the decimal two places to the right means we put it right behind the 5 and attach to percent symbols so that will be 5 percent. So 100 percent here and 5 percent over here. It's a good thing to remember that 1 is the same as 100 percent. For the next three exercises, we have to find the percent notation for the decimal notations in each sentence. So number 13, women in Congress in 2016, 0 0.196 of the members of the United States Congress were women. So 0 0.196. We move the decimal two places to the right and attach the percentage symbol would be 19.6 percent. Similarly, uh, number 14, Lacrosse. In 2016, 824,947 Americans played Lacrosse. Of this number of participants, 0.383 were high school students and 0 0.051 were college students. To convert 0 0.383 to percent, we simply move the decimal two places to the right and attach the percentage symbol, so it's 38.3%. Similarly, for 0 0.051, 0 0.05. One, we move the decimal two places to the right, and then this will become 5.1, and then a percentage symbol, 5.1%. So be sure to do some extra exercises if this went a little bit too fast for you. Uh, go to the book. Of course, your homework exercises, you have similar ones, but the book is full of exercises you can use to develop your skills in this particular area. And it's very important to know how to go in each direction, what we just did in the last uh, uh, you know, nine exercises. And this is the end of section 6.1.